Hello everybody, I'm with the Big God, and welcome to, well, Things I Hate. I decided to incorporate this series that Brand New and Jay Money got going on. So I thought I'd throw my two cents. Um, so yeah, here it is. The game I have on right now is uh, Skyforge. It's a free-to-play MMORPG. My character's name is Shyrak Illy. If you don't get the joke, then you suck and you are stupid. And um, yeah. Uh, it's free to play MMORPG. She's a necromancer, or sorry, cryomancer. Uh, Skyforge is a game where you can switch um, classes anytime. You're not just restricted to one class at the end of the game. And yeah, so yeah, that's the thing. If you want to go ahead, I'll leave a link in the description for the download. And okay, enough pandering. Let's get to the subject. Really grinds my gears. Lazy or incompetent or just non-thinking game developers. Game developers, what is wrong with you today? You are the reason that people keep thinking that there's going to be a video game crash soon. And we all know the video game crash in 1983 and then Super Mario Bros. came in, um, saved the world or something like that for the NES. But you guys seem to not care about us. Now, not all of you, it's a select few of you and a lot of you. First of all, let's start off with the big one. Konami, what is wrong with you? You have been messing up for last year and this year. You came out with nothing, you've given us nothing, and you give us no reason to care about you except, except for Metal Gear Solid. I mean, it's one mistake after every mistake with you guys. First of all, you cancel Silent Hills, which is actually a very accepted Silent Hill game. Why would you cancel it? We were looking forward to that. You know, I love Silent Hill, and this really hit me hard. Uh, to taking Hideo Kojima, which is really the only person keeping that whole company afloat, they took his name out of the credits in Metal Gear Solid 4, fan I mean, Metal Gear Solid 5, Phantom Pains. Why would you do that? This is a backhanded and sneaky thing to do. Another thing is, yeah, um, another thing. Do you remember those games that people seem to hate nowadays that are only not after five other names like Castlevania and Silent Hill? Yeah, well, Konami decided to give us some attention. Oh, a movie? <laughs> don't be so silly. Nah, they're not gonna make a movie. <laughs> oh, they're not gonna make a game either. No, their idea is Pachinko Machines. I am dead serious. I'm gonna say that again. Pachinko Machines. If you don't know what a Pachinko Machine is, it's one of those little machines on, you see on a press's right. I know we drop the little ball in and it's whatever number it falls on, it's your score or whatever. Um, yeah. They have Silent Hill themed and Castlevania themed Pachinko machines. You're asking me why should I care about this? They made commercials for this in Japan and their CGI their CGI based um commercials and they put it on the internet thinking it's a game, but nope. Chico Machine. I could rant about this more, but go check out Alpha Omega Sin's uh, video on this, where he just went off on Konami. Another company, Sega. What is wrong with you? You're not much better. First of all, you don't show up in E3, so that's a major red flag that you don't have anything going on. If a company does not show up at E3, then something's wrong. Okay? Uh, the Sonic's last two games were either okay, I mean Sonic Lost World was okay, and Sonic Boom was a complete waste of time and effort and thought, and just not, just not well optimized either. And I know you have, I know you just announced um, Sonic Boom Fire and Ice for the 3DS, and I don't like to judge a game before it comes out, so I'll check that out. And you have a new game that, that you've announced for the PS4 and Xbox One, to come out next year to celebrate Sonic's 25th anniversary, and I plan on getting a, I plan on at Christmas season getting a PS4, so I will check that out too. But um, it seems as though Sonic the Hedgehog is the only person keeping that whole company afloat, or not person, the only thing or franchise keeping that thing afloat. Um, because Sega seems to not think that we want any of these series anymore. Uh, Golden Axe? <laughs> Who cares about that? Nobody liked Golden Axe. Altered Beast? <laughs> oh, I, man, forget about that. Fatal Fury? Uh-uh. Streets of Rage? Um, nah, they don't care about that. Alex Kidd? That Forgotten? Poi Poi? Nah. Knights? No. Nah, nah, nah. They, they only care about the Hedgehog. 
but I I do gotta give you props because you are bringing back the Yakuza series, and I love the Yakuza series. Uh, they used to be on Dreamcast, and you. Yeah, but can we get like a Crazy Taxi Four, uh, Golden Axe Four, Streets, another Streets of Rage game, something from you guys? Stop squeezing the every living life out of the blue hedgehog. These games have been on a wavy line of a of a stroll. I mean, it's it all started with Sonic 06. Bad. Unleashed, in my opinion, good. Then Colors, good. Then Generations, good. Lost World, okay. Sonic Boom for the, for uh, Wii U, bad. And now you have Sonic Boom Fire and Ice. So I get that you want to redo that, but come on, Sega, get your stuff together. Capcom, oh Capcom. I okay, I can't really brag on I can't really uh rag on you guys too much because you do have an you have announced Street Fighter 5 only coming for PC and PS4 and I am gonna give that a look for like a PC version or I get a PS4 version. But I do appreciate that. But um wasn't there like another little guy that you guys had? Like, you see Smash Bros. Right? Oh yeah, Mega Man! Why isn't there another Mega Man game? Another Mega Man X game, Met Legends game, Battle Game. Uncharted 4 twice. One at EZ 2013 and one at EZ 2014. Bruh, we get it. Uncharted 4 is gonna be awesome. I like Uncharted, but really? That's really look. Do you wanna know a way to get the to get the money in? It's called there's um there's a little franchise you got had and you still own the license to um um, a man with a beard and long hair, well, beard, a beard and Johnny Test like hair, and a little also that used to, you know, um, a little wisecracking also that sat on his shoulder and, and helped out. What's his name? Jack and Daxter. Now I'm not counting Lost Frontier. Now I'm counting Lost Frontier as a not Jack and Daxter four. Lost Frontier is like a spinoff to me, but um, and I'm not counting Daxter either since I came before. I don't know where to, I think it's either between one and two or two or three, but uh, but come on, Naughty Dog, make Jack and Daxter four. Activision, I can't. Me it's every every year. Every year, Activision. What do you announce? Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Call of Duty Ghost. Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Call of Duty Ghost 2. Advanced Warfare 2. Come on, Modern Warfare 5. You have the license to crash Bandicoot. Now, I can't get on you guys at all because, well, you do, you did remember, oh, wait, we own the license to Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Oh, uh, let's make a game about that. And I don't know how that you remembered that, but you have the license to crash Bandicoot, a household name. Do something with it. Crash fans are still waiting for another Crash Bandicoot game. The last one we got, Minor Mutant, was debatably okay. Alright? Now, Crash of the Titans was good, but Minor Mutant was okay. Okay? Give us another Crash game. Now, there are some developers out there who get out and do what they gotta do. Okay? Bethesda, I respect you. You have Elder Scrolls Online on, on consoles. You have Doom getting ready to come out, which I'm very excited for. And this fall, you have Fallout 4. I'm a, I love Fallout. And I'm getting, and I'm gonna get that game when I get my PS4. Or, or get it on PC, I don't really know. Uh, Square Enix, you didn't have the best E3 conference, but you got out and did what we got we wanted. We got, a fi we got another Final Fantasy game, probably one that's thankfully better than Final Fantasy 13 2 and Final Fantasy 9 or 10 and or any of the double digit ones, in my opinion. Bottom line is, oh yeah, another one. Before I get to my bottom line, another, another one. Another one. Rareware. You recently released a Rare Replay. That's cool. You got all the games that we liked: Conker's Bad Birthday, Banjo Kazooie, which I have on my N64, uh, Perfect Dark, Killer Instinct. Uh, but you even have the bad games like Viva Pinata that nobody really cares about. 
I respect that. But make new games with that. Make a good Banjo Kazooie game. Make another Conquer game and don't put it on Project Spark. Just make it a standalone game. Make it another Killing oh, Killer Instinct game you came out with. That was good. I applaud you for that. I really do. But give us some more stuff to work with. Bottom line is. It's because of this that indie developers are out here doing these guys' job. These game developers need to get this stuff together, or else you might be looking at another, another crash. Now, this is my this is my first rant that I have, and I don't know. I have another I have a top ten list that's getting ready to come out for y'all, and um, I have a speed paint gets planned for y'all too. Because recently, now when I get tired of this, that you guys might um. You guys might just, I don't know, you guys might click out of this video, <laughs> I need to stop saying I don't know. You guys might click out of this video today, but I haven't found a pretty spent, um, speed paint to, to uh, celebrate uh, one year of Final Freddy, which was two days ago. I was busy. So we look forward to that. We have a top 10 list coming from me, and it's going to be a duty. I want your big guy, make sure you comment, make sure you like this video, make sure you share it with your friends, and make sure you, make sure you don't get butt hurt. We are, we, we are UBI TV, we are the gamers that don't give a fuck.